The proposal for a college for social transformation at the University of New Mexico brings together existing interdisciplinary study programs under one college unit. The academic programs include Africana Studies, Chicano and Chicana Studies, Native American Studies, Peace Studies, Sustainability Studies, Women's Studies, and other centers and institutes. The proposal for a college for social transformation at UNM is ahead of its time and will increase the number of degree earners from underrepresented and vulnerable populations from the state of New Mexico. All students in the College for Social Transformation will be required to engage in civic and community leadership. CST will prepare students to be agents for social change and transformation in their communities and in the state of New Mexico. Now, let's hear from our students. I was raised very traditionally, very traditional based, and uh, Navajo was my first language. Didn't know English until grade school. And so I have this real strong connection with uh, my roots. I just started taking Africana Studies courses, actually just by chance, and I fell in love with it. Um, it was the most eye-opening experiences that I've ever had. I decided to come to UNM because, first of all, it's home. It's, it was very close to home. And I got out of the military in 2011. And then last spring, the Chicana Chicano Studies um, major was offered. And as soon as I, I just, I, I think I didn't even, I don't even think I thought about it. I said, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. That's what I wanna do. And so I've just learned so much. And, and I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel so, such a different, like such a different person. My background is primarily in education. I have been uh, tutoring and teaching for 15 years. Um, I also have a background in mathematics and engineering uh, and, like I say, in political science. I joined the military out of high school. Um, I did uh, four years in the, in the Marine Corps and then uh, got out for a little while, went back to, back to Michigan, worked some odd jobs, uh, decided that I didn't really do well in the civilian world, so I went back into the military. I am <clears throat> from, actually from here, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, <clears throat> born to my mother who's actually from a small town up north called Springer, New Mexico. And then my father who is from Los Angeles, California. And they met actually here at UNM. Um, but unfortunately neither one of them finished school. And uh, I have two younger brothers. Both of them went to college, neither one of them finished either. I remember moving to Española uh, as an immigrant, I remember um, my mom had to come pick me up. I don't know what grade I was, I must have been really young. But I wouldn't get out from under the table. And I think it was because I just felt like I didn't belong. And I didn't want to speak English. And um, I don't know, I didn't know anybody. And I always told everybody I'm from Mexico. So that was really hard. When I came back here, I joined uh, into New Mexico. I enrolled into the Anderson uh, Graduate School MBA program and while I was in that program I applied for uh, law school and was accepted and so I'm currently in the uh, dual uh, MBA and uh, JD program here at the University of New Mexico. I can look back at the people that I went that I grew up with <clears throat> that are actually majority of them are still living here in Albuquerque New Mexico and did not attend college if they did they didn't finish. There's a, a very few of us uh, in my particular graduating high school class that have continued on. And in my town, you either were going to work in the auto factories when you graduated, and some kids went to college, and the majority went, went into the military. It's hard to sit in a classroom where you are oftentimes the only person that looks like you in the class. and. Oftentimes the people who are teaching you don't look anything like you. And people have no idea how those things can intimidate somebody who is not, one, not familiar with education, with how it works, with how it functions. And when you don't have people who have come before you who have told you, okay, this is how you can handle this, this is how you can deal with this, then it's easy to just kind of fall by the wayside and allow yourself to not finish. I can speak for several other people who come from backgrounds that are, you know, they're the first generation college students. 
uh, and you know their parents never attended, uh, maybe they didn't even attend or finish high school. But they're here and they're, they've gained that support here. There's this support in Native American Studies. I have learned far more in, um, in studies such as interdiscipl interdisciplinary and ethnic studies and so on and so forth, sustainability studies, uh, than I have learned in any other area or any other field of study. I have learned how to look at life from a critical perspective. I learned how to, crit to think critically in these courses. So I learned how to take the education and the knowledge that they were giving it to me. And then I learned how to develop it into my own ideas, into my own thoughts. Everything is connected. And so in engaging in, in interdisciplinary studies, we begin to learn to see those connections and to take advantage of that knowledge so that we can incorporate these multifaceted components of life in general. Native American studies uh, has um, definitely uh, brought me where I'm at today. Me being Native American, me being, being indigenous, uh, you would expect that you know you already know Native American studies, but that's not the case. Um, you know, it 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 broadened my horizon, my my perspective on many things. Uh, on a lot of uh, cultural issues, uh, political issues, um, a lot of issues dealing with Indian country, and uh, you know, just more of personal um, perspectives as, as well. Majoring in Chicano Chicano studies has just has helped my just has changed my life completely. I got accepted into the McNair program, and so and I know it was because I like doing this, and so I I was able to do that. Um, it's helped me get, in, get into graduate school here at American Studies at the University of New Mexico. In Santa Fe, I was um, doing an internship with a uh, state senator, Jerry Ortiz Pino. I am currently uh, the policy and legislative advisor to the president of the Navajo Nation. I have been invited to become the director of a new um, education program, which includes uh, GED education, critical thinking skills, and college prep. Um, which will be uh, taking place in the South Valley starting uh, later this year. I think it's important for everyone to understand inequality, whether it be racial, gender, or class, because we live in a society right now that seems to be very um, polarized. And uh, especially in my field, in law, it's hard to say that we are access, you can access justice or uphold justice if you don't understand who you're working with or why you're doing what you're doing. I think there is definitely a need for the, the college for social transformation and, and here in, at the University of New Mexico um, because there are so many departments here. Um, you know, we have Africana Studies, Native American Studies, Chicano Chicano Studies, we have Women's Studies, um, Peace Studies, um, and, uh, sustainability studies and so I feel like we're so separate. I definitely think there is a need for College of Social Transformation. Uh, you know, first of all, you know, it's, it's the first of its kind and, uh, you know, having these different studies or these different areas of interest under one, one roof is very important and because I believe they all share um, a common interest. They all have ties to each other and they all have similarities. They all can learn from each other. Uh, I think a college, a college of Social Transformation uh, could offer both UNM and the state of New Mexico a lot. Um, two, two of the major uh, problems I see with UNM at the moment are A, we have a very low graduation rate, very low completion rate of degrees, and secondly we have the students who do finish their degrees tend to leave. What I think that the, a college like this could bring to, the, to New Mexico and to the university itself is just that diversity and it can allow people an opportunity, one, for understanding. I think that the biggest issue that we face today, whether it's with racism, sexism, ageism, whatever, is that we don't truly understand. And so when we don't take the time to understand other people, their experiences, what they've been through, then we 
will not appreciate them and so then we treat them poorly but most importantly I'm a huge advocate for a, a, a sense of self everybody needs to understand who they are and where they've come from and when you truly do that then you have no choice but to respect other people and their differences because you understand that walk of life is not necessarily your walk of life and so more than anything it's going to provide this university and this state with an opportunity to learn about all of the cultures and all of the people that are actually here.